Hello, happy Monday everyone. It's Lumen here at an Agricola Arena table up against Super Cool Fred, rated 374, Freddy X84, rated 100, and Joltmup, rated 325. In the fourth seat. So not having the best seat at the table here in either sense right behind the weak player or a uh, good starting position, but it's okay. I think I, uh, I'm not, uh, hopefully not too hurt by that. I see a Mason in this first pack, which is the clear best occupation. Not exactly sure what I'm getting back here. Tree farm joiner, organic farmer and layabout, all pretty reasonable. Um, hoof caregiver, small animal breeder, pasture master could have some play. Lumberjack doesn't make a ton of sense unless I find a mini pasture. Uh, and even then, doesn't make a ton of sense. Miner's not great. Um, Sleeping Corner says uh, opposite things to Mason. Small house farming versus big house. I am a noted overrater of Woodfield. Red Paddle would be pretty speculative, but does have the highest floor, or highest floor, in, uh, I don't know about, uh, highest ceiling maybe is Red Paddle. I think I'm taking that or Supply Boat. I'm not enough excited enough about Supply Boat. I'm gonna take a very speculative Red Paddle. Hope I find a big grain source somewhere later in this draft. Let's go with that. Hello, Ted. Stats say Chop House. Interesting. Hello, Cosmo. Hello, Sivir. Hello, Phil. Gotta get that one wood to one food conversion. You know me. I mean, Sleeping Corner is good. You won't find me doubting Sleeping Corner being good. Uh, Bread Paddle. <laughs> not, <laughs> not proving to be the best pick there at least right now, because we have uh, another beacon enabler. We have another send all your grain somewhere. Hold on. I'm just noticing it this for the first time. There is text on this beer keg. It says lava. The beer keg is lava. Why does it say lava? Uh, does anyone who like knows German, do you have any explanation or, or beer? Can you explain why the beer keg says lava? I'm now intrigued. Uh, anyway, what goes with Mason and bread paddle? None of this. I like lumber mill, but without extra stone, doesn't feel great. Uh, Clay de la Ruben could be okay. Garden Head Official, probably the best pick, Aquise. Bottles feels terrible on a big family. I don't like any of this. Feeding Dish is okay. Feels a little underwhelming to take it here. I think I can try to go for Lumber Mill and Wheel Feeding Dish. Clay Pipe's fine. Just not exciting enough to me here. It's a beer brand? Okay. Nice to know, DV Lot. Clay pipe is better in general in a big family, but I'm not excited about it. It's a beer brand from Iceland. I guess the Agricola artist is a fan. Okay, well, this pack is better. It has a half timbered house. It has a plow maker, it has a chimney sweep, it has a skillful renovator. All of those pretty great. Uh, for 
my circumstances. I believe the pick is just half timbered skillful renovator. Uh, I mean, this fodder planter comes with extra points on it with garden head official. But if I end up with Plowmaker is hard to pass up here. Well, a lot, like, I, I want all four of these ox. I'm only getting one of them, probably. I don't see anyone picking Chief Forester over any of these. My stone needs are significant. Passing Plowmaker, probably just... This is sad. I mean... I don't think any of these four are necessarily wrong. Maybe Chimney Sweep is the weakest pick for me. Why do we care about Plowmaker? I mean, kind of the same reason I care about extra wood. It's just, like, good to have fields to fill up space. Conservator. Oh man. Uh, there are some interesting ideas here. Conservator, probably too good to pass up. Scythe Worker is really the only other option. And if I take Conservator, I don't have to waste wood on Bucksaw. And Muddy Puddles, I can spend the extra clay on good stuff. I can still draft Clay Deliveryman here. Passing Scythe Worker to the beer keg is kind of scary. Uh, and of course we've got the every other Monday vacuum situation in the background. Highly doubt I can still draft Clay to the Ruben. Uh, fair, that was a pretty weak pack, wasn't it? Uh, if there's extra clay in the game and I don't need to spend clay on renovation, then money bottles can be better. Hopefully that's clear. No one for sleeping corner? Alright, that's kind of loud. Uh, organic farm, we're pretty good here. So I'm uh, de-drafting Sleeping Corner. Um, just, that's my decision, I'm de-drafting it. Uh, I don't know if I have time for Tutor. If I get first action Ock, I'll go for Tutor, but otherwise, probably not. And then Feeding Dish looks good. Yeah, we might still get that drinking trough. 
And let's see if I'm stuck with Chief Forester or not. Free point if I get two grain fields, true. There is a chance we get Fodder Planter back if Joltmup forgets about the Garden Head official or just doesn't realize that interaction. Got Skillful Renovator back and Ed Bonus back? What's going on? That's pretty great. Fodder doesn't really go with organic, so whatever. Okay, so I didn't find a grain source, meaning this this first pick bread paddle ended up being, you know, quite bad. I could have just taken Scythe Worker. But I didn't. A first pick pavier. Could be reasonable. I didn't get a great fourth arc. That was the Scythe Conservator pack. I'm hoping I get Reedstone. Um, being able to play Lumber Mill early would be pretty sweet. Very happy to have gotten Skillful Renovator back. Um, though, I mean, now I wish I took Scythe Worker really badly. Still, uh, probably five wood and a clay from Skillful, which is nothing to sneeze at. I am going to try to get 8 stone for Lumber Mill Half Timbered and the Stone Reno. I think I can swing it. Pavior, one of the only Ox I would ever consider Private Forest with. Uh, is that a first pick Private Forest, maybe? We know they're going to take Reed Stone. And there's more wood in the game. Both of these things are relatively good for me. Someone is opening with two rooms. We don't know for how long, but that's also a little good for me. And I'm getting two wood or two clay. The two clay would be for a fireplace. I'm not getting it. Should be fine. No complaints with how this has started. Um, the person taking three wood has the scales, presumably. So we'll see them start player this round, which means I'm going third next round, most likely. We'll see if they first action it. If they're a 100 rated player, that's the kind of value loss that I think is rather typical from low rated players. They, uh don't always consider their likelihood of getting the action they want back. And just go for the action they want immediately. I get two reader free oc. If I get free oc, I whatever, whatever, it didn't matter. Two read I'm totally fine with here. We have round two major. Uh, this is a hollow warden. Instead of just building the fireplace, spending a food now to get an extra clay with hollow. Seems a little extra, unless there's some high oc miner there. Or if they plan to take hollow, I mean, I guess this is a bit efficient. They really want their ox down. There is the chance they get expensive Ock this round. And yeah, okay. But I don't know, if I'm them, I'd probably go for two read first.
Four clay for the hearth would be a great first move next round. We're expecting blue to go sheep ock first move. I think Tudor's dead. A different plot location there. There was a seducer in this draft, so I'm guessing purple has it. So I'm expecting uh, it to go Ock. If purple takes four clay, would I rather have four wood or reed stone? That affects which wood action I'm taking here. I think I'd rather have four wood. Because it... We're in a bit of a zone where I might be able to pull off a double build as the first room of the game. Depending on how slow my opponents are at room parts combined with feeding. We have a rolling pin here. So red wants clay. Tudor's dead, because I'd rather just, like... Well, no, I have... I have Ed bonus and red... This red paddle's not seeing action, but... Yeah, I can't really explain it. It just, like, didn't feel like the right tempo. If I get, like, build without having Ox down yet and I grow early, then Tudor might be back on, but I'm not preoccupied by it. Oh, we have a Forest Guardian for Wood Annoyance. All right, so I'm not getting the four clay, but I did set up a slightly better wood action. Old Savior Strats of Third Hawk Tudor. Red prioritizing three clay over Reedstone. I don't think that's a great action. Who's gonna take three clay? If I somehow get Reedstone back, that'd be amazing. But I get three wood or expensive Ock instead. Three wood looking fine. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure I know what Blue's doing. They have some uh, interesting options. Three food was also an okay action for me there, but I'm setting up for a double build in case blue doesn't take two read first action, which they might not. And Freddy doesn't take two read. Is this brushwood? It's Chief Forester. Okay. As I thought might have been the case, the weak player is not prioritizing a build. Chief Forester Woodfield is more than funny, it's awesome. Spivey, this is one of the things you can do if you don't prioritize playing your cards in stage one. You can take room parts. Um, early growth... Depends. I'd really like to be able to take four food with my action here, but I just doubt. We even took two wood twice, yeah. Yeah. 
I have long-term feeding issues. I don't have hearth or even hearth parts yet. Um, Red is getting a lot of food early for themselves. I'm playing the family game, not the family friendly game. The family friendly game is when uh, you use the minor improvement and build a room when you have empty room and get a growth. So there are a couple ways this doesn't go great, but uh, what are you taking the sheep for? You have three wood, so two wood. Oh. Uh, uh, it's fine. <laughs> We're almost to triple build. We are not almost to triple build. Not only that, but if we could triple build, we still would not. Uh, per this is very generous. This is very generous. I'm super traveling here, but I'm trying to foresee what happens next round. Okay, this three wood slightly changes things. What would have been really funny is if uh, Red didn't take three wood and then jolt him up was trying to get the six wood but then couldn't because they didn't have enough food. That was like a possible way this was gonna go. And that would have been hilarious. Um, so. I'm obviously in a pretty good spot here. If bro flips in five, I should just win. There wouldn't be any excuse for not winning out of that position. Um, Opcost Games, thanks for the follow. I, I'm now starting to dream about things I really shouldn't dream about, like getting the grain off of education bonus. Oh, Vincent, thank you. Um, okay, so we're, we're gonna teach our opponents a lesson of uh, why you can't exclusively all ignore room parts. Our miner is feeding dish or bread paddle. I haven't decided yet. Yeah, Vincent coming in huge indeed, schmug. Ooh, this uh, this trout pool not so good. Oh, their their wood was too high anyway. Well, thank you opponents for not contesting rooms and letting me double build in five with growth flipping five. This is always the dream. If you're going to go on some heavy card strategy or some alternative line, that's okay, as long as the entire table doesn't decide to do that. Who needs cards anyway, exactly? Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to go Feeding Dish here. Supply Boat doesn't seem great. This is an arena game, yes. I, I have my mood scripted here building, then we're growing. We're just going to do something slightly atypical for the fun. We're going to go for the U house, I think. Hardlining seducer, true. They don't have enough food to buy the veg, though. Who has the seducer, though? Because why did Blue take a single sheep? Uh, 
Uh, there's definitely a chance we grow Nada next round. Yeah, it's hard to say, right, Sevier? Preemptive sheep sweep, right, yeah. <laughs> So the way you lose when you get into this position is by starving. They did have a rush with. Yeah, this is just like reasonable cards to have, just really uh, suboptimal sequencing, let's say. I am gonna grow Nada next. That means I can actually, I'm never being gifted a wood by anything, right? So I can actually wait to decide which miner I'm playing between these two. Red Paddle just might be the better choice. I still might be able to play all of these. So I'm actually going to go Red Paddle. Now, I think because I have so much action advantage. And we're going to play it now just in case. Uh, this, Yeah, uh, it never happens. But what if Jolt Up doesn't build first? If, if Joltmup does have Seducer and takes fishing into a sheep, then uh, I can take Reedstone first. Or Six Clay. Six Clay might be the better of those two. But true KLJ, we do we do ruin the aesthetics of the family game. Ah, it was Phil Loom. We figured it out. Did we just win? I mean, yeah, when Vincent flipped Grow in five and we got to double build, we won. The game's over as long as I don't completely botch my feeding. Which is possible, but uh, let's, uh, let's bet that it's not happening. So, a little unfortunate, gotta grow with nothing. But that's okay. <laughs> it's not one until round eight. No comprendo. Whoa, a task art is in. Okay, I'm gonna bet they don't really understand the task art is in scales interaction, but this is sick. Oh no, you don't play a stable here. Yeah, they're they're completely missequencing their hand. Their hand's a lot of fun, but. Oh, because of the feeding? No, I'm I'm fine. I'm only three food short of what I need already. Six point minimalist. <laughs> yes, my only improvement's gonna be a bread paddle. <laughs> hey Koki Loki. And my fifth miner is the feeding dish. If I have a sheep at home and take more sheep, I get a grain. So it's a pretty nice grain source on Big Family Hearth. Uh, Reedstone, Four Wood, both are good. I would have taken the Six Clay. I am not early. The time has not changed in the US yet. I believe the Daylight Savings is like one week weird. One week off. Um, because of Forest Guardian, I need to remember that Six Wood comes with a food penalty. Still probably worth.
right, the wood field is sown. What I'm thinking right now is that start player feels a little wasteful when I'm already going second. Whoa. KLJ, thanks so much for that prime. That, that number is 19, apparently, so I am very grateful for your 19 months of Prime or not Prime support. I think it's three food fishing here. I get four wood first. I might get four clay. We fish, we force Jolt Mup to be taking the three sheep with their first action. We're fed for this harvest. That sounds like you don't believe, Sivir. I don't appreciate it. Where did I get all that food? Uh, you will see I've played no occupation so far. I started off with three food in the game. I read stoned once in the opening. I took traveling. Uh, I read stoned again. Hey, Zizak. Yeah. Uh, the US likes to be confusing and bad, so. I feel myself starting to pay a little too much attention to chat uh, and not formulating enough of a game plan for myself here. So I'm gonna spend a little moment to, to gather my thoughts and sequences. I don't know how much food I actually have here. It doesn't feel quite established yet.
I think Lumber Mill is dying. Because I'd still like the oven. But I think having a hearth and feeding dish is a prereq to going for the oven. Safely. Squeezing in lumber mill here just doesn't seem possible. Compared to just like getting Ed bonus and tutor down. Okay, um, what I'm doing is setting up a less explosive game for myself. Um, and daring everyone to find food that I don't think they have. Hey, Sivir. Yeah, so, uh, Blue's a 100 player. They're, they're playing their cards because they want to. Doesn't really need more explanation than that. Reedstone, start player, and then Ock or Clay or Wood. I would have really liked Cheap Ock. You think four not flipping means the food is good? I mean, Koki, I would love two grain fields right now. <laughs> I would love two grain fields right now. Do you know what else I'm not gonna take five actions to do? Is make two grain fields. The overall farm plan here is six fields, four pastures, the U house in stone. I think the oven disappears here. The clay oven. I probably don't need... Oh, 
はあ Kind of lost my train of thought a little there. I thought playing Ed Bonus before any OCCS was a noob move, lol lol lol. <laughs> Smooth, thanks so much for the two months, the Prime. I appreciate it. I mean, it is kind of a noob move, not gonna lie. Hey Kung Ming, thanks. You too. Uh I don't really know what I'm doing right now. I think I'm just taking the two sheep, which sucks, but I don't really have great food outs here if I don't get that. As much as I kind of need the three stone, BMW is not too divergent. Yeah, as Grace says, the the marginal value of the four sheep over the replacement actions is not, is not that big. Maybe Grace thinking along different lines, but I'm seeing two different three food moves that should not die. Then there's the BMW option. Yeah, and boar is often better to keep at home with feeding dish. Well, That's not who I thought would be taking the sheep. Though, if they're seducing... Okay, so this is probably BMW into Ockbake.
Expecting Seducer for purple. Yeah, Skillful's still quite good. And get to open two boar. So, I mean, far from ideal to be baking the free grain I got, but... My game actually feels like it's starting to move here. Yeah, Conservator is not far from being skipped. But every Oct comes with a point, so I should do those. Yeah, I mean, Joinery overall looks like it's quite playable. Not something you'll usually hear me say. Okay, we're starting with two boar. Drawing here looks bad, do you think? I think it kind of depends on how many fields you think I'm getting. Reedstone is not immediately necessary for Reno. I think I am just going to chill out on the growth here. Not going to worry about it too much. I do want stables, yes, for organic. But there is a lot of wood in this game. Or at least uh, my opponents are not taking their share of the wood in this game. Yeah, I mean, there's a reason I, I threw out Lumber Mill. It's because I don't have enough stone for that. Well, we got triple laid animals. This muddy puddle is looking pretty sick, actually. There are many options here. I do feel somewhat obligated to Ock this round just because uh, there. this is the fifth to last round. I have five Ox left in my hand. They all might be worth points for me. Garden Head might not get played, but with uh, Muddy Puddles, I do think I want to be fencing. So let's say I want to Ock and Fence this round. I want to play Muddy Puddles. I want to play Feeding Dish. I have a lot of things I want to do. Feeding Dish is probably the least important of those. So I'll go Ock Fence and then Reedstone or Clay.
Akak Reno is not bad. Okay, not getting six clay, a little unfortunate. Uh, six clay would have been the perfect number. Yeah, I mean, I have a lot of good options, that's for sure. Going second next round, a nice place to be. Not getting plow first action. Unless I set up the bait with, like, a wood grab. Um, not getting Reno. You would have played Conservator first? Fair. I think Reno was taken, though. Reno was already taken, right? It should have been 14. It should have been 14. The reason being two plow actions and Ed bonus gets me to five fields. Now I have uh, an unmakered sixth field or just empty space. But this does get me faster stables. It does mean I can play Feeding Dish Half Timbered right now. So it's not a total loss, even if it's not optimal. Uh, two read here is somewhat reasonable for food security going forward. I could just play conservator right now. Renoing last action is ideal for more wood. Yeah, 14 is better capacity. No, I definitely should have done 14. Could take a veggie. Taking the three clay is also not that bad. There is just gonna be like a five wood stack that goes to red. Does that bother me? No. So I think I'm taking start player next round for hoping for cultivation and accepting urgent wish. Would police themselves. I assume I'm taking two sheep. A hearth upgrade for Jolt Map. Not what I would have expected. Okay, so next round looks something like two sheep, start feeding dish, boar grain, ox. 
Do I even have ability to feed that way? Hello, Marushka. Oh, it's a start into start. I'm plowing. Wow, starting to start. Thank you for the furrows. Red going awk instead of the sheep. Well, my ox are now looking pretty sus. Okay, well now I know I need to play conservator. First action, three food traveling. They're a food short of feeding. Okay, my food is obviously not looking very good. Four clay muddy puddles on Reno is the disaster situation. Or it's, it's the uh, avoid disaster. Make sure I'm fed, but uh, I'd much rather like to have stuff ready or just like, sorry, I should hope to have the muddy puddles uh, unused so I can start breeding some stuff. Okay, Reno is safe. Do I just say take a cow here? I probably take a cow, eat both, and a reed. You're saying I should feeding dish into boar because the grain's better. I mean, I would like to be able to take two cows to open next round. Yeah, it is.
Yeah, these wood are not the most consequential things. If a cow gets taken... Uh, that's okay. I'll be able to farm land. Or maybe purple's going for the two cows. Oh yeah, sh Schmog, it's, it's really unfortunate. Is this a cow prince? We'll find out. If this is a two cow opening action, um, I'm fine with that. I will take the round 12 spot in that situation. But getting either the round 12 action or the two cow action is definitely solid. Red beep flew over the cow. <laughs> yeah. Why would I urgent over plow? Uh, I guess with all of us being at four people, which is something I just noticed, uh, yeah, it's probably not right. Yeah, and I have too many miners to, to want growth without. You're correct. I would plow. I'm really regretting not having more fences. This organic not looking too useful. Uh, though with fodder planter not revealing itself, there's still a chance I can make organic the odd one out. It's not cow prince. I will have breeding cows. It is still one point, well, probably more than one point, probably like one plus one or one plus two. I guess three points is definitely a good last move. All right, uh, Mason Grow are two of my moves. That leaves either Farmland or Five Clay. Four Clay is okay. I am resigning myself to needing two Clay actions. Yeah, great. I really don't think I'm getting six. The pottery's not bought yet by clay delivery men. I'm nervous about this clay. It's also my feeding this stage. Oh 
no, why are you building rooms? All right. Sure. Whatever. It's fine. I'll play Mason anyway, but if last action isn't grow, it could just be the reed stone I need. It could be a wood action, though I think I might be able to get a better one. I could dig a veg. Not that I'm not getting a veg from Mason, but having a second veg could prepare garden head official. Also, I think even if Fodder Planter gets played, whoever plays it might have a hard time getting, um... Is this Oven Sight? Uh, might have a hard time getting two veg in the ground at the end of the game, or more than one. Maybe that's a bad hypothesis. I don't think I needed to bake that one. I also kind of want to abandon the U-shaped house. I really shouldn't though. I don't think I'm ever fencing this space. Yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna abandon the U-shaped house, sorry. I didn't mean what I said. Lou does notice the mason trick. Or maybe they don't. I mean, it's not much of a trick, Phil, to say I can grow even though I haven't built my mason room yet. But, I don't know. If I'm playing a weaker player, it feels a little disguised still. get to grow. Just kidding. Not just kidding. Hey David, uh, I think there was a layabout, yeah. Nice game for a layabout for someone most likely. Getting two sheep next round would be really cool. Sure, KLJ. There you go. There's the layabout. My farm looks like baby laying down balancing a Lego on <laughs> That's one way to look at it, I suppose. Assuming that uh, start player is available with my first action, I'm just going to start with furrows. All 
I prefer start player to not be available and the sheep to be available. If that combo could show up, that would be excellent. We have a first action regular wish. Get beer cake down. Interesting. First or last. Looks like Joltemup's choosing last. Cow grain should be good. Veg should be good. Clay is fine. We need a reed stone. We do need a reed stone. Pasture master with no pastures. Wow, well, neither red nor purple needing urgent wish apparently. Maybe they both realize if uh, one is taken, now they get the other for free next round. Uh, we'll see about the ox. Can I go cow into veg? Can I get that? The food of this cow is uh, not trivial. So what's the ideal sequence here? Veg. Ock that gives me two clay and then pig. That three wood is not good news for potential stables. Is the pig disappearing here?
Yeah, very uncertain I'm getting stables this game. In general, I'll, I'll be doing fine. I'm not in danger of losing or anything, but... Yeah, exactly, Rainier. But, you know, I, I'm trying to, to do some good stuff. We have some fences, is what's going on. Maybe I will get stables after all. TBD. Two in a row for me. I'm gonna spend three of these right now. Just to give myself a clearer view of where I'm actually at. Yep, Hawking, I think is possible. I barely have enough. Especially if I just take care of the reed stone right now. Oh, I forgot the silliest little detail. I thought I was getting a wood from Garden Head Official, but Garden Head Official does not have the if there's still one round, you get one wood. It's a very funny detail to have forgotten there. I was like, why didn't I get a wood? <laughs> Whoa! Are you serious? Is this a real sighting? It's the shadow. Thank you for sending your Bezos bucks my way, Shadow. I hope you're doing well. You are indeed a Shadow. <laughs> yeah, again, I very much appreciate it. We are, we are taking care of business in this game. Uh, I didn't play any cards until round five, if you want a summary. Uh, I was given double grow in an early growth game, so uh, just kind of been somewhat autopiloting, but my food has been pretty bad. It's all late animals, but we're alive. We're gonna, we're gonna be doing just fine. I have one more food than I thought I would have. Where did that come from? Oh, the reed stone food. Forgot you have, I have half timbered? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm having a big round here. Managed food pretty well, thanks. Not completely out of the woods yet. We are already at 52 though. I mean, I have a pretty sick hand. Looks like blue ate a wood somehow. They didn't beer keg. Three wood or four wood, then three stables, half timbered, clay. Visible score is nice for the spectators, I agree. Oh, they skipped their harvest. Good call, I forgot.
All right, with all the food moves looking kind of sucky, I'm just gonna make sure I do what I need to do. And by need, I mean get three stables for vanity reasons. Clay half timbered anything is my ending here. Wait, join, no, stables clay half timbered. I'm gonna eat two cows. Wait, that leaves no time for Organic Farmer. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably shouldn't have done the wood move.
Uh, what's my move status? Uh, we take Constable, right? Or we we defend against Constable instead of having the organic farmer that we didn't play. Yeah, we have a we have a too many good moves remaining. I have too much point ceiling here. I'm ending on 60. I have too much point ceiling. I grew first and second. Didn't reach my ceiling. Shame. Hey, Heroic Logic. <laughs> Heroic Logic has a lot of stupid work meetings at my normal stream time. I feel really bad about it. Heroic Logic, one of the most loyal viewers out there. And it's your lunch hour, gotcha. That's funny, Garden Head Official recalculated between my harvest and Purple's harvest. That was funny. Growing first and second played well should be 60 points, yep. That's true. But I could have had more. Well, we got five points out of our round eight tutor. We got our max education bonus. It was a good time. Super cool, Fred, saying it was such a weak draft. I don't think it was that weak. Thanks, Schmog. Yeah, disappointed, no minimalist. Look, every game I don't get to play Minimalist for positive points, I'm also disappointed, trust me. Trust me. Uh, yeah, we, we had some cards, Heroic Logic. We didn't even want Conservator that badly, because uh, once we picked up a last pick Skillful Renovator, which, like, uh, I shouldn't be getting last pick Skillful Renovator. Yeah, we opened with the Mason. Um, first picked a Bread Paddle. <laughs> that I activated once for emergency feeding. <laughs> feeding dish ended up being way better out of that pack. That first miners pack was pretty bad. Woodfield supply boat were in there. Great conversion, yeah. I mean, I used all four of those food that I got, or all three of those food. Net two on the grain, one on the bread paddle, but... Uh... <laughs> And we had too much stone in our needs, including BMW for feeding assistance to uh, to get down the lumber mill. But that happens. There was enough wood this game. Sleeping Corner wasn't my first pack, I don't think. I think it was the second? I actually don't remember anymore. I want to say it was Feeding Dish and Bread Paddle in the same opening pack. We can check. I spent a lot of time on the moves there, but I was hungry for some parts of that game. If you ever, like, doubt your feeding when you grow first and second, get a hearth ASAP and things will usually be fine. That's- whoa, 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 no, no, no. That's not what I meant to click. Didn't mean to go into my turn-based games. I don't think my hand showed up, but... 
in case anyone I'm playing in turn-based is watching, yeah, not gonna... Nope, you were right. It was Sleeping Corner. Yeah, I thought Bread Paddle had some high ceiling, but then the grain support, the only grain support I found was Scythe Worker in the same pack as Conservator. Man, kind of sad Scythe Worker didn't see the light of day in this game, because there were so many good grain payoffs with Bread Paddle, Flail, Beer Keg. I really feel like Scythe Worker should have been played. Then here I just de-drafted the Sleeping Corner. No one went for Fodder Chamber. It would have been a bad Fodder Chamber game with all late animals. Let's see what Super Cool Fred considers a weak draft. I would never pick Private Forest over Lou. In first seat, I think it's reasonable to pick Pavier, though I would still probably pick Task Artisan. I think Task Artisan is significantly better. I mean, if you're picking Chop House over Sleeping Corner, I guess you could call it a weak draft. But I think it's more that Red is not understanding how good Loom and Sleeping Corner are. Also, Bottles over Beer Keg and Fodder Chamber. I think I just have to stop watching this. I have to assume Super Girl Fred doesn't watch the stream too much. Because, uh... <laughs> telling me that Loom as an option first pick with Task Artisan and then calling it a weak draft, I cannot in good conscience agree with that. I agree, David. I do have to go. I'm getting a grocery delivery this afternoon, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I should head off. But thankfully, y'all have more Agricola to watch right now. As it looks like Rainier started a game. So stick around uh, for five more seconds. You'll join the raid, you get more channel credits over here. And we'll say hello to Rainier. We'll watch him hopefully have a great game himself. And I will hope to see you next time I stream, which is tomorrow, same time as today. Uh, and if, you, if I don't see you then, I will see you some other stream time. Thanks again, everyone. See you next time. Bye.